That's a good question. It's, uh, it's hard to know what to say is most promising because there are immunologic approaches that are already there with monoclonal antibodies that actually provide additional prevention of recurrence. And vaccines are in development, so they may ultimately be the way that we provide long-term prevention. But also very promising are things like microbiome replacement or sometimes called fecal transplant te technologies, which either can be um, derived directly from donor feces and either provided as a uh, preparation that can be given by enema or by colonoscopy or, and this is the direction all of this is going, either frozen or lyophilized and then put into capsules. And these capsule approaches are going to be much more practical and uh, much more acceptable by patients, avoiding having to have anesthesia for colonoscopy, for example, or even a bowel prep for colonoscopy, which for those who have had a colonoscopy know that the bowel prep is the worst part of the whole procedure. So, um, And then uh, there are other approaches to prevention that look like they might be effective when antibiotics are administered to patients. And one of them is a uh, beta-lactamase that actually prevents dis destruction of the microbiome by the drug in the gut. Uh, that can be used with beta-lactam antibiotics. Uh, there's also an activated charcoal preparation that is under investigation that will tie up the drug in the colon so that the microbiome is not affected. And, uh, and something called non-toxigenic C. diff, which I work on extensively, which actually just replaces the pathogen, the, the toxigenic C. diff, with a non-toxigenic strain that is harmless. And when that's present, it keeps out toxigenic strains of C. diff.